these turtles, the Flavo Marginata, I love them. I, I'd like to have an army of these turtles because they're so friendly and they're attractive and they really they are. Look at the yellow. Isn't that beautiful? Whoa. Hey, that's exactly who I was looking for. It's my little male Flavo Marginata. This little guy's awesome. I've got uh, a few of them out here, but it's a male because you can tell he's got that long tail. Yeah, this guy's been living out front now for a while. Hey, look, here's another one. Hey, what's up, lady? Look at that. They're getting big. Holy smokes, yeah. she got big. Right. Oh my god, she is, man. I should be getting some babies from them soon. But uh, yeah, I just got a little water thing going. This one crapped out on me. And I just wanted to put this on. And then we'll get to turtling. Righty tighty lefty loosey. That's words. what we're gonna do, get to turtling. We're turtling, dude. I wanted to see those flavors. I wanted to kind of call them out because they're awesome. And uh, what's not awesome is my skills at putting a Plumber's hose on the bib. Plumbing is not a strong suit today. What's going on? Um, here we go. That's Would you better. believe that's why I wanted us to cover it for some laughs? What's that? For some laughs. Watch Cannon Plum. Oh, God. All right, so let's get these guys out. Let's see. The pond isn't exactly very clear at the moment because not enough water is getting into the pump, so you get those bubbles. That's why I had to put... Oh. Let's see if these guys will all come out. These guys are certainly enjoying them Oh, right they're away. the best. Right away. I love these turtles, oh, man. Look at, them, look at them fighting over it. These turtles are <laughs> extremely gregarious. Let's check the skimmer for anybody. Holy smokes, I'm glad I did. Look at this. Look at how low it is. There's an Asian box turtle. This is a problem. This is what happens here. Let me just make sure that. It's important to be up on your stuff. And here's our water going in. So now we won't lose as much water. We can replace the water we lose to evaporative loss because it's on a timer now. Hi, young lady. There's some food over there for you. But yeah, now here's the cool thing about these flavos. We just kind of chill here for a little while. They'll smell the fluker food that we put out. Is it bad for me that I'm getting dizzy every time I sit up? Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there who have helped to create an amazing reptile community online with us. This week's shout out goes to our good friend, Ed. All right, let's go over here. We'll give them a second and see who starts coming from out of the woodwork. We also released those snake neck turtles. I have found one of them in this pond, which was kind of cool. That means that little dude wandered all the way across the yard to get into here. Um, but then I haven't seen him again. Uh, and, you know, it is what it is. So let's go on over to the other one and throw some food in there for these guys too. We trimmed this back a few weeks ago. And it's good because I can really see we got some. Look at her. There's another flavor. Look at that lady right there. Very hidden. Very hidden. That's what they like to do during the heat of the day. So that's cool, man. They're they're out. They out here. Awesome. Let's get some food. I like throwing it over here, and then it just wanders downstream. There's a turtle over there too. It would be awesome if you just make that, but oh, look at this. Dude, here's a turtle I haven't seen in a while. Matt, Where can you looking? find a turtle? You gotta look with the camera. In in there. Yes. Yeah, that's so it's there. pretty well blended. I'm gonna go yeah, in there. This is one of the smaller. It's very small. Yeah. This little dude is one of the babies I put out oh. here. Isn't that beautiful? It's an actual baby, so you see the babies do grow out here. That's why we put the snake necks in here, because I know same thing's gonna happen with the snake necks. They seem to grow a lot faster in a more natural situation. Plenty of bugs, plenty of little things for them to eat. This, of course, is an Indian spotted turtle. Awesome species, but this thing was much smaller when I got it last year. How pretty, though. Yeah. Really, really cute little turtle. And it was nestled in there, and when the sunlight dapples in, you can look down, look at this. Yeah. There's a larger one smelling the food. 
when the sunlight dapples in, it really does blend these animals into their environment. Let's put it in here and see. He's a little upset with me, but he'll smell the food, start coming out. This guy's happy about the food. Oh yeah. They'll all start waking up and smelling the food. So I want to go over here and I'm going to uh, have a look. Look at this large one. As they get bigger, they lose their spots. Why don't you go swimming? Go get some food, dude. Now I'm going to do one big move and hopefully not fall in. There we go. Pretty good stuff. All right, over here, I like to check in here because Sometimes right, you find see if I can get over here. Yeah, sometimes you find turtles in here. The juveniles like to hide in the shallow because as you see, food gets pulled into it. Now oh, this is the drain. This is a yeah, well careful where you're stepping. What are you stepping? I was um just rummage your hand through there. You see anything? Oh yeah, that's what Hey, I there's another flavor. There. Right there. Let's bring that one over. Uh, to good thing I didn't where step on you. Is. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Oh my god, feel the weight. I know. Isn't I that something? Oh, they feel so much heavier than they look, and that's a great sign. That means they're all healthy and doing well. So these turtles, the Flavo Marginata, I love them. I, I'd like to have an army of these turtles because they're so friendly and they're attractive, and they really they are. Look at the yellow. Isn't that beautiful? That? And they do so good here. I don't have to worry oh about God. them in the cold. They just burrow into the ground. I never worry about them. I need another male because all I have is 1.8. So I have one male and eight females, which he's pretty happy, but it's always better to have more than one male so you know the job is getting done. Let's walk it over here. We're gonna grab this other one also. See if anybody else came out. Again, they, these guys were so small when they first came out here. I mean, it's almost like I'm cheating, right? I just put turtles out in the front yard and, uh, hey, where are you going? Smell the food. Smell the food. Stop it. Relax. Where are you going? Come on, they guys. are gone. They're, they're peacing out. Well, not interested. You can lead a horse to water, man. Oh, there's another one right there. Right in the That's, bush. Oh, is there one? Yeah, right in the, um, right in the roots of the bush there. There's a third one there. Really? Yeah. Right in Oh the yeah, mix. look at that. That's so cool. Japanese wood turtle. We haven't seen this one in a little while. The bottom I of that looks like a leaf. Isn't I'm that amazing? Gonna... I the love it. The bottom of this looks like a leaf. Right. It's just amazing. And look at the top. Wow. Real beautiful. What a pretty animal, huh? Very beautiful. This, this guy will eat on land also, there. perhaps. That is awesome. So yeah, I like getting down in here, man, because you never know who you're going to find hiding in the rocks and crevices of my aquascape pond here, my ecosystem. And this is the first, whoa, this is the first one that was ever built for me. And boy, is it an OG. It's really grown in nicely. Uh, nobody there. It's fun, man. I'm on an exploration all the time here. Look at here comes this little Japanese wood turtle gonna walk right in. Let's see it climb right into the water. Get some food. Many, you know, ingress and egress points for these animals to get in and out of the water. So cool. Super easy for them. That's, that's what's great about creating a natural habitat like this. Very cool. Come on, let's keep, uh, keep turtling. I told you we were going to be turtling, dude. I'm in the mood for turtles. I didn't think we were going to be so successful. I got a fever, down. and the only thing that can cure it is, is turtles. turtle bells. Wow. Of course, we got the screen here. But I'm just kind of curious. It's it's murky because of the uh, because the water wasn't being circulated properly. So let me let me reach under here 
and see if I can. Is this a good go to spot? Oh, this is a good go to spot, dude. I've seen your hand go in there before. Yeah, let me get on your side, though. Let me get all up in there. I'm gonna get all up in my pond. Oh, man. That might be SOL. Nothing. Really? Nothing. Oh, well. No big deal. That's what's funny. You don't know who you're going to find. It's always good to look over here in these little areas because the turtles will wander around. Even the little ones? They'll get yeah. this far from water? They'll do it. Yeah, they're... they're we do tend to see them stay closer to the water. Right, sure. right. You never know who's in there sometimes. But again, all this leaf litter, uh, really I'm on a mission for. I'm on a mission just to see. Here's a radiated tortoise looking for me. Just looking for my flavors here. This is nice. You see how wet it yep, is underneath? Yep, I knew you were going to say that. They love, they love hiding in this. And that's why I like to kind of rake all the leaves into one area they decompose create heat and they also create moisture I do want to stick my hands in that other log on the other side let's see how's the cave looking nobody in the cave today no nope, nobody let's give it up for my little sago palm yep. that really good? <laughs> oh robolini that's a robolini look at everybody here yeah we got Cersei and Boba and there's Timmy hiding All right, I'm gonna get down here. Wow, that goes deep. Nothing. Striking out today, boys. What a bummer. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked because normally we find a lot tucked away. They're here. They're hiding from me. Very sad. Very sad moments. Well, I was just looking. Didn't even see this one. Wedged under here pretty good. Oh yeah. How cool. cool. An even larger Indian spotted. Pretty turtle. Fast on land too. Yep. They all are. Jeez. Later. Good, good. Right into the hiding spot. Well, at least we found our flavor marginata, which I'm happy about. The uh, pond's looking good. I like that I cut things back. The summer's coming. Things are just going to just explode. And uh, once that heat goes up, the plants just, we get that rainy season, they just really go crazy. So it's good to kind of start in a manageable place. Anyhow, that's what we got going on today. I got to be honest. I really wanted to find a snake neck for you, but uh, it did not happen. I promise. They're in here. There are snake nets around. That's the downside of a real life enclosure. You make it so realistic, they can actually hide on you. Yeah, but that, you know, I keep saying throughout the video, it's, it's fun. Yeah. Because like I, I haven't seen that little baby spotted turtle for a long time. Right. And then boom, saw it today after not seeing it for months. And uh, it just shows you they are extremely cryptic. You have to also understand there's so many little rock crevices that a small turtle can get into and hide. But uh, at the end of the day, we got that automatic waterer going, so I'm not going to have that problem where the water levels drop so much any longer because I had to remember to come in and manually turn them on. So the good news is, is that's going to come on every night at 3 a.m. So every morning, the ponds will be topped off. Uh, but in the meantime, we got little spotted turtles enjoying some fluker tortoise, uh, excuse me, turtle diet. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. 
I'll see you guys again on another video coming from around the house. And don't forget, I'm heading to Texas soon. We're going to be going to some really cool places that I've never been before, and I'm going to bring you along with me. We're going to meet some really cool reptile experts, and that's coming up real soon. So I'll see you guys in Texas very soon. Later.